There's never been a better time to have Sirius XM. With over 140 channels in your vehicle, your all-access trial includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM Video On Demand. What you love is on now. What's going on, guys? TGIF, thanks for tuning in to another Lunchtime Learning Session here on CMA Connected, presented by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu, and yes, I'm not wearing my, you know, you always see me in, of course, my SiriusXM hat. But today, you know, I had to give it up for my boys, made the Stanley Cup playoffs. Of course, I'm going to have to represent Go Habs Go, a little bit of Canadians love. And I'm sure my guest today will appreciate it as much as I do, even though he's on the complete opposite end of the country. Uh, representing Trends Electronics. Of course, we have Mr. Grant McFadder joining. What's going on, Grant? Hey, Ben. Yeah, man, that was a good game last night. Crazy game. You know go what? I, go. I hope the, <clears throat> the country can rally because, you know what? I'll be honest. I wrote, I rooted every time there was a Canadian. You know, even in the semis, never mind making it to the cup. It's hard, right? The freaking the, There's so many more teams than there used to be, and there's a lot of great talent across. So even make it this far for any Canadian team, I think it's a great feat, and I wear, wear the colors proudly. Yeah, if any team was going to make it out of uh, Canada, I'm glad it was the Habs because I couldn't get behind the Leafs. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, my friends in Toronto. Not happening. Trends loses all accounts <laughs> yeah. in Toronto. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Can you edit, we edit that out? Edit it out. <laughs> we can't. We're live, buddy. We're live. All right. So, um, see me connected. We're here again. Uh, great lineup coming out of Trends Camp. You know, this was a, an announcement that you made back in the spring that Exile Audio back in Canada with Trans Electronics. And uh, there was a lot of exciting news because not only was the Marine side, you know, going to continue, of course, because that's where they really found their footing, but they were expanding to some car audio. So I, I, I guess it's really important that we keep the dealers up to date as to what's going on with this important brand. Uh, Cause I know it's important for you guys, right? Yeah. Well, we've got some hopefully very, very exciting news coming up soon. Uh, we've, we've been talking about the car stuff for a little bit, but uh, I, I believe as of this morning, it was actually being sent on a container. So we should have a oh. product here probably third week of July, end of July with uh, the subwoofer enclosures, party packs, amplifiers, all that stuff, which we'll show you a couple of slides Absolutely. of down the so road. I wish I had samples boat. here. But... On the boat. What's that? <clears throat> it's on the boat. Not a wakeboard boat, but a real boat. Gotcha. Container Perfect. boat. Yes, and that's what we have here. But you know what? Our job is to make sure that the dealers get the right info so they can make the right decisions and know that this is a fantastic option um, for both the marine and mobile audio needs. So, um, you know, let's talk a little bit about the brand real quick, a little bit of history, just to clarify, because there has been some questions come up. You know, you know, wasn't Exile here before? Didn't you guys have it? Like, what, what, what went on? Maybe we can just, talk, you know, clarify everything and start fresh so we know where the timeline goes moving forward. Well, my timeline, when I started with Trends, would be 17 years ago, uh, just passed in February. Um, it was actually one of the first brands that um, I got in contact with, with because they were the guys had just come back from CES uh, in January, and I got I came on board in February, and they were all hyped about this new line coming out because it was the guys that were uh, some ex guys from Phoenix Gold, Bill Hasbrook, Morgan West, and uh, mm -hmm. Brian Kelsey had separated from. Um, Phoenix Gold, and they 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 call it, they said they got exiled, so hence that's where the name I think came from was the exile. They got exiled from Phoenix Gold. <clears throat> Is that a so? Uh, Did you that just was, that up? No, I think that's I think that's where it actually came from. <laughs> that that makes a lot. I'm of foolish. Sense. I'm full of you know what, but <laughs> yeah. not all the time. All oh, right, right. Um, so yeah, that I think that's where the name came from. But uh, that was basically my first introduction to it. Was uh, straight off of CES. They had a they had a small booth there, and they showed off uh, their car audio products. So there was amplifiers, which were really, really cool. They had a big metal heat sink. Like you lifted it up and it was like 25 pounds for an amplifier. Class AB, old school, because mm -hmm. their, you know, their roots in Phoenix Gold was really, really good quality, great sounding amplifiers. Um, they had a really shallow mount set of component speakers. It had an ABS plastic basket, which everyone was picking up and go, how can these sound good? Then they put them on a board and it was like, wow, these actually sound really, really good. And then they had a subwoofer, which they still make today, the XI-12D, which is an absolute beast. Uh, so it 
it hasn't changed much other than a few maybe cosmetic changes, maybe some power handling changes over the years. But if it ain't broken, don't fix it. So, you know, this guy here has been around for <clears throat> 17 years or so. Mm. Um, I would I did, say it's the, basically the, iconic the, at this point. Yeah, the grill was silver back then because everything was kind of silverish, dark, mm -hmm. you know, gunmetal gray back then. But uh, yeah, that was my introduction introduction to Exile, and uh, we had a great run for uh, yeah, that was two thousand and four, so about three and a half years. And uh, right around that two thousand eight ish, two thousand seven ish time frame, uh, the car audio market it was tough. Like that was it a weird was, time. It wasn't the economy wasn't great, and there was a lot of brands coming out, so it was kind of like you know getting lost in the in the mix of how many products were out there. And they actually had some history with some guys taking their products because they were such great sounding amplifiers and putting them in boats. And they said, you know, why don't we look into this more and transition their product into a marine audio brand? And uh, since 2005 onwards, I believe they've been doing marine products. And and just to interject, Grant, like that's how yeah. I knew about it. I didn't even know they did car audio before. When you told me you're bringing an exile, I was like, oh, that makes sense. You know, you guys trans, you're obviously focused on marine. You know, you've got wet sounds. Uh, this is a great compliment and really just round out, you know, the portfolio when it comes to marine. It was you that told me that they did car audio. So I, I didn't really, I thought this was a new departure when actually their introduction of their new car audio line is just kind of circling back to where they started. Yeah, no, they, they, uh, they, they saw the, um, like I said, like the, the car audio market was tough. And so they took they took advantage of some situations on the marine side because there wasn't a lot of brands there. I mean, Exile, uh, Wet Sounds obviously has been around for a long time and an amazing partner for us for the last 15 years. Um, and, you know, it, this this coming back to us again really rounds out our lineup. And we have MTX uh, that fills that, you know, everyday stuff. We have uh, Wet Sounds that's way up here, flagship, you know, best of the best. And then we have XL that slots in right below it, basically, and gives you very, very good performance for a great value in the dollar. So, you know, our, our marine lineup is pretty tough to beat. I'd like, I, I wouldn't uh, like to be uh, the competition going up against us with marine stuff because it's our, our lineup's pretty killer. I would say your menu is quite appetizing. Yep. especially for uh, dealers that are, are into the marine game. And I should mention that at, towards the end of the show, I did get a chance to sit down with uh, a dealer who is very, very uh, experienced with the Exile brand, but more on that really? later. Yes, yes, mm. more on that later. I'm going to surprise Interesting. you. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do work during the week. You know that, right? That's questionable. <laughs> All right, we're not going to get into this right now, g <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, g -Mick. Where are you from? <laughs> Scandinavia? Norway. Like, no. Norway. That's what it is. Gotcha. All uh, right. Our, our, our producer guy here thinks we're, at, we're goofing around one day in the office and he, you're a white guy. You must be from Norway. I'm like, Norway? Look at the dark hair here, dude. Like, look at the color oh, yeah. of my skin. Like, it's. Uh, I'm the Scottish Mac in now. your name is no giveaway. Uh, yeah. Sure. The McFadder is like, yeah, it's a good Norwegian name. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? Here's what I want you to do. I know you have some. You should see him. He's cracking up. He's back dying there. right now. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> dying. First day in the job. Dying. Um, get used to it, buddy. This is how we roll. Um, so, check this out. Let's let's start with the roots because you know, what I want dealers to know is when they think about Exile, you need to understand that they have found you know a tremendous amount of success based on what's on the screen right now. Yeah. So we, we I mean their tower speakers are phenomenal. Great value. Uh, they sound good. Um, they have two different versions of them. These are the XM9s, which are a compression horn driver, uh, really designed for that 80 feet back performance. The guy that wakeboards or is towing the kids on the on the uh, inner tube. Um, you want it loud and you want to hear the music at 80 feet back, you need to do a, a horn loader compression driver. So these guys do that. Um, I've got one out of the can, actually, if you want to see, because if you take out some of the competitors' wakeboard speakers, it does not look like this. <clears throat> Oh, sorry. The music of the main one. Mm -hmm. It's a beast, right? It's not a, it's not a car audio speaker in a can with a, you know, a six and a half inch coaxial. Definitely speaker not right a there. car audio speaker. Just for the, can I see the backside magnet for a second? <coughs> yep. Because I just. Yes. Like, so that's actually the that's actually the compression driver on the back. Oh, I not see. Not the magnet. Okay. The magnet's actually in here, but this is the compression driver, and then it funnels right through the cone and comes out the front, and then we have there the flare, is. the flare on the grill to get the dispersion on it. But yeah, this is not your. Oh, so the grill is part of the function. It's yeah, just absolutely. No. Mm -hmm. okay. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you that because this is, like I said, if you take a, 
uh, some other brands, speakers out of the, they don't, don't look like this. They're not beefy. They're not, uh, no compression clear, driver on there. Because what you're saying is you've taken basically what we see on the screen before and you've taken the driver out of it, out of its casing. Yes, this is not the finished unit. You don't have it free air like that. There's actual uh, housing on the back. Uh, that's another area that the guys at Exhaul did too was, uh, you know, on wakeboard bolts, especially hang height, which is the distance between the tower and where the bottom of the speaker is, is super important because you don't want to have this monstrosity thing hanging down and you're bumping your head or you're climbing underneath it all the time. So the height between where the clamp is and the bottom of the can is as low as it possibly can be. They actually... Um, they, they taper the can in so that the, the speaker doesn't take up as much space. You know, so lots of lots of uh, you know tooling, lots of consideration into how it actually sits on the boat. Um, I remember having Bill on Bill Hasbrook, and, and he was really proud of the way the clamp system works. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah. So the XM9 and the SXT9 Qs, uh, which are the, the surf speaker, uh, both use the same clamping system on them. So we have a swivel. Uh, clamping system on it. it's 360 degree swivel so when you're not wakeboarding you can quickly undo the threaded bolt on the back and spin the speakers around and now the party's on the beach so a really really cool feature because uh, uh, you know wet sounds has that a lot of other brands have it now but it was uh, these guys and, and wet sounds were probably the first two guys that do you know such a good job on the swivel clamps what, what about quick release them? Yeah, quick release. Yeah, so quick release uh, as well so that if you're if you're leaving the boat at the lake overnight you don't come back in the morning and Someone's decided to enjoy your uh, two thousand dollar or fifteen hundred dollar tower speakers. So there's a thumb screw again on the back, the uh, cam lever on the top. You quickly disconnect that, and the speaker drops down. We have the carrying bags, which they call the socks, uh, to put them in, so you can load them in your truck, uh, throw them in the back of the uh, the tent or the cabin wherever you are for the weekend, and that way you're. Uh, I suggest taking them off when you're towing the boat. If you're doing a three hour hike from your house to the lake, uh, take the speakers off. You don't want them bouncing down the highway. Fair enough. All right. Get there and you're missing a speaker is not going to be a lot of fun. So is this different from the previous one? Yeah, it looks similar, but this one's actually the surf, uh, the SXT 9Q, which is we call their surf speaker. So it is a eight inch or they call it a nine inch because of the oversized basket on it, a nine inch coaxial speaker. Uh, designed exactly for what you see in the picture there with the guys in way better shape than me for being older, it looks like. I thought it was you, uh, to be honest. No, no, dude. No. I can't grow a beard like that, and I definitely don't have the body that guy has either, so unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, the surf speakers are for the opposite end of the spectrum. It's for the guys that don't wakeboard, uh, don't tow the kids, but they want really, really, really good sound quality. So they went with a, a nine-inch coaxial speaker that gives you way better sound quality up close. So if you're 18, 20 feet back where you're surfing, uh, this is a speaker to go. So really for dealers out there, you want to qualify your customer. If the guy's only a surfer, then great. Go ahead and sell him the surf dines. He'll be super happy. If the guy's a hybrid dude and does uh, wakeboarding, uh, skiing, and towing the kids, you definitely want to go to the XM9. We actually have, we have some guys that do both. They call it the hybrid setup. They do the XM9 for the wakeboard guys and do the surf nine for the guys. On the, the same boat. bar? On the same bar, yeah, and sometimes on the same app. I wouldn't recommend that, but sometimes I do it. And and you know, from a dealer perspective, you really need to have these in your showroom and show the customer the difference. Like you know, put them, set them back fifty feet or set them back twenty feet and hear the difference. Yeah, it's kind of a cool thing to do too. When you you get a guy in the store, you guys go <clears throat> stand in the back corner of the shop. Why? Well, you're gonna have, you're gonna have to go back there because we're gonna hit you. For, it's gonna be loud. So mm -hmm. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Get some guys even put a tailgate and you know, like the the tailgate for your wheel, like a jeep on the back of your car. Uh, on their install bay and they'd get the guy to go down the parking lot and then we swing the tailgate out opposite into the alleyway and then fire it down 80 feet and give a guy a demo pretty impressive way to do it application for this on other than marine like for um utvs or anything like that yep side by sides again when you're putting it right behind your head in a side by side or what i like to see is the guys firing it backwards so their friends can enjoy their music that they spent uh, two grand on but their friends are going to enjoy it um fire their speakers backwards but yeah, absolutely. Wakeboarding, uh, side by sides, golf carts, uh, you name it. We've got guys that put them in uh, truck beds. We've had guys put these. They've taken the clamp apart, invert them, and mount them on top of roofs of cars, and have them for like library events or guys who do parking lot sales and stuff like that. They'll have their music firing out in the back of the car or truck. 
Awesome. And and uh, let's be clear, you know, like we 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 mentioned wet sounds because that's another brand that you sell, but you know, this is not in the upper end of the price range, right? This is this is uh, an intermediate price. Would that, would that be fair to say? Yeah, I'd call this I'd call this mid level. Um, you know, especially at the retail prices that they are, they're not crazy expensive. Um, it's certainly not cheap. I mean, fifteen hundred dollars and eighteen hundred dollars is not cheap for by any means for a set of speakers, but. Uh, when we first started looking at Marine, that was my first thing because I wasn't a Marine guy. I was like, you know, $1,800 for a set of coaxes or something like that for your boat was crazy until you dig into it and see the technology they have. And then you also go into the market and see what's out there. You know, back 15 years ago, they were selling these aluminum cans that were expensive to make. And then they were putting a six and a half inch, $99 coaxial car audio speaker in it and selling them for two grand. So oh. what we're offering is substantially better as far as a product goes and you know uh performance wise it's night and day fair enough okay oh we're jumping into amplifiers yeah i just wanted to touch on the amplifiers again because we do have a it's a small selection of amplifiers but pretty much does everything you would want uh for a marine application some guys will even use these in cars especially the, the javelin which is the top left hand speaker the sorry amplifier uh, the Javelin's 100 by 4 RMS at, on the first four channels, and on the subwoofer channel is 800 watts RMS at 2 ohms. So really, really kick-ass five-channel amplifier. Uh, we like to run your four in-boat speakers and then your subwoofer with it, and then the amp below that is the XM302, which is a 300 watt by 2 RMS uh, amplifier for your tower speakers. So 2 ohm stable, oh, okay. so you can run four towers, no problem. Uh, the Javelin, and that is the number you know one-two punch. And then for guys that want to, sorry, go ahead. No, my question was, you know, what kind of power do you need to efficiently run like the tower speakers? That's I like question. to, I like to say as much power as a customer can afford. Really? You want to efficient you, though? Like what if, like, what if it's like 50 watts? Like, would it run on 50 watts? Nah, it'll run, but I wouldn't, uh, it's like putting motor master radios on your Lamborghini. You know, okay. you've got a pair of $1,800 tower speakers. You don't want to be putting a, a 50 watt by two. Cause it can handle the amplifier. Oh, they love power, compression horn driver. That's what they're made for. So uh, whether it's our MTX, Exile, or Wet Sounds compression drivers, you know, 200 watts plus a channel is what I'd like to see. 200 uh, plus. Okay. The Exile is like 300 by two. So really, really good power. And this is, to be clear, uh, Grant, this is a marine series, so f fully conformed. You got the water resistance, the whole nine. Yeah, we do the full conformal co uh, coating on the circuit boards, uh, all stainless steel hardware. Uh, it's about as marine grade as you can really get on an amplifier without doing the sealed plugs on them. Um, mm -hmm. But super reliable. We offer a two-year warranty on all the XL product, top okay. to bottom. If it's a dealer installed, we give you two years. If you do it yourself, it's uh, a year. But um, super reliable awesome products the other two amplifiers on the on the right hand side is the a four channel which is 150 by four and then a uh baby 1500 watt rms monoblock on the bottom there to it's really tiny those guys there's, are, not, there's not much power there no no dainty <laughs> oh wow okay and that's a mono yeah 1500 watts monoblock and then um like i said we sell more of it the the javelin and the xm302 than the other two uh, sure the, yeah. Guys that want that big monster amplifier, uh, two of those XI-12Ds on that subwoofer, on that amplifier, and look out. You'll be splashing waves off the yeah. hull of your boat, not... <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. And these are obviously tonally perfectly matched for, for the, um, the cans. So They'll work on anything. I mean, we've got guys that will use these on multiple different brands or products. Maybe there's a guy that's got an existing system in a boat. We'll use them on those. It's oh. not... They're not tuned for XL product. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking that yeah. was the the only speaker option. Marine was were, were the um, the horn drive. No, but you have regular coaxials as well. Yeah, absolutely. we're not showing here, but obviously you do. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's go to the next slide. Oh, let's switch gears a little bit here. Yeah, so we'll we'll uh, this is what uh, we've been waiting on. We've been we put product orders in. Uh, we've been dealing with this since December. Um, got orders in line. Looks like it's finally on the water. So this is probably the first skew or SKUs we will get. Uh, we have a shallow mount, a 10 inch subwoofer. Uh, the cone's actually an aluminum cone, rubber surround. Uh, we did some design changes on the enclosure so it didn't look like everyone else's down firing sub box. I think cosmetically you'll agree, I think it looks pretty cool, different. 
Uh, and then we also have an amplified version of it. So a 250 watt integrated amplifier on the other version of it, high level in, low level input, comes with a base knob so you can control the subwoofer level from your dash. Um, guys can use these in boats. I mean, the carpet, yeah, you want to be a little bit more careful with it, but uh, certainly if it's down firing, this, the woofer is not going to get splashed on. Uh, you know, it's a nice application, but really it's designed, we brought it in for the car audio market because this is a huge segment for us. We've had, uh, we have other brands. We've had brands like this with a single 10 inch or 12 inch down firing enclosure like that. And it's huge, huge market. Well, down firing and low profile and removable is kind of a really important to have in your shop as an offering these days. Yeah. Um, and can, you mean, can throw groceries on top. Consumers, well, you don't have to worry about denting the cone and all that. I kind of am stuff. one of those consumers that definitely fit in that category. And talking to a lot of shops, you know, it's like a lot of guys come in, yeah, they want a better sound, but they're always hesitant on the sub. Why? Because they realize this is the one family car they have. There's other, you know, things that you need to do with this vehicle. You have to deal with, you know, family duty, so on and so forth. And then you show them this. They're like, oh, hold on a second. What if, what if I told you I can get you a, a 10 or a 12? It's only this high. And all you have to do is unclip this connector if you need to take it out. And be yeah, and this one, this performs yeah. awesome. With that aluminum cone driver in it, it's different than a lot of, you know, it's not a Me Too product. There's a lot of differences between the driver we have. You look at the, even the custom tooling on the on the grill, the, the uh, gasket around the sub box. The design the from Exile is very <clears throat> evident. I mean, the cut corners, the discrete logo on that corner, the two-tone carpet, you know, even the, 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 not only the surround, but the, what do you call that? The ring, I guess, around the, I mean, it's all designed. Yeah, the, the rubber boot, the gasket yeah. around the comb. See, that could have been just, sorry. you know, just straight round and black, but no, they have to, they have to brand. And what that does, it just gives you that little level of um, extra design that adds to the sale and say, look, look at the detail in this. You the know, guys at XL are very design. They call it their design language. Mm. They even speak different. They speak different. Uh, they speak Port Portlandese. Portlandese, yeah, that is a yeah. thing. That is a thing. Uh, what kind of power would you, would you know? Do you have that out hand? Uh, you like to see 250 watts RMS. Uh, we have run it with a 500 watt monoblock here at the office when we we're testing it. Uh, no problems there as well. But re really, the recommend is 250 RMS. Hence, the amplifier that we have in the amplified version is 250 watts at the two ohm load. There you go. And 10 and 12s available? 10s only for now. 10s uh, only for now, okay. We we'll, might do 12s later if there's a need for it. Um, but right now we wanted to go with the smallest form factor possible because space is an issue with a lot of cars. You, so you we'll, might find a, a request, a demand for 8s in this category. Yeah. My experience with 8s is usually people expect a lot more and they cook them pretty good. They Unless it's a nice. beefy 8. Unless you do beefy 8. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. 10 is the sweet spot. I'm not going to disagree. 10 is definitely the sweet spot for most applications. And most people these days are driving crossover vehicles, open air. You don't have to deal through a trunk. It works 100%. Okay. Right. So hopefully third week of July. Oh, this is July. on the boat. This is on, it's the, on boat. the boat. It's okay. On the boat. This is the part that's on the boat. All right. What's the guy from go. Saturday Night Live? I'm on a boat. No. I'm on a boat. Yeah. <laughs> that's a funny skit. Oh, okay. So more traditional. Uh, I say traditional, yeah. yet there's still design here going on. Yeah, so we 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 these are both the uh, dual ten and dual twelve slot ported uh, designs. So a different design on the the slot port, not your traditional square or, or sorry rectangular vent. Uh, again, some dot design characteristics, you know, a little different to make it stand out. Um, these are the complete opposite of the one we had previously. These are the guys that want bigger base. So we've got a dual ten, dual twelve, uh, five hundred <laughs> watts RMS on the dual tens and six hundred watts RMS on the uh, dual twelve inch enclosure so again these are shipping now as well um so again third week of july third week of july hopefully we should have these all things you know fingers crossed boats don't get hit by tidal waves or sink two, on the way over two questions for you Matt. <clears throat> yep uh these subs are these uniquely available through this package or will they also be available as a standalone skew uh, they're they're available as a standalone SKU. We do have a uh, the next slide that we have, or the next couple of slides. I think uh, after this, we have them. We have them packaging with an amplifier, but this will but be a standalone it's the same sub. Though it's the same model. Same sub will fur. Okay, yeah. okay. Because yeah. I just noticed something. There's this. Is that an emboss into the cone? Yeah, like sorry, the shallow sub is not doesn't have the same woofers. Okay, as one. this, this is, is not the, the same as the previous step sub. Up. This is right. a step up from the shallow sub. Let's just go this back a, here. You see, because the logo's yeah. here, but that looks flat. Yeah, that's a Versus. flat piston cone. This is a okay. regular scoop. Right. Uh, looks deeper. Yeah, much deeper cone. We've got the embossed X on there. These are the shift series of woofers, so it's got the little orange accent in the bottom with the shift logo on it. 
I'm going to guess and, uh, higher power handling. Yeah, 500 on the dual 10, 600 on the dual 12. Yes, sir. And is there a grill option on these? No. No? Okay. <clears throat> Not currently. We had a... <clears throat> Sorry, did you clear my throat a little? We had a grill option for it, which we might do on a next level up from this one mm -hmm. enclosure with lighting and stuff in it. We'll dress it up a bit more. Nice. Okay. Coming soon. Uh, again, getting to back to the guys that wanted uh, bigger base but uh, aren't willing to get, uh, don't want to sacrifice quality over over, over a shallow subwoofer. We did the same woofers in a single box, so a single ten, single twelve with the slot port. Um, again, the guy that wants a little more output but doesn't want to give up the space of the dual 10 or dual 12, we have those available coming as well. And these are also shipping now. They do look good. I have to say the design is really, really on point. Yeah. All right. There's the party pack. So, yeah. So, we've done a, we did a lot of these uh, through other brands um, the last couple of years. And we've really seen a resurgence in this because it's simple for the customer. Customer comes in. You know, he wants to buy two 10s or two 12s. Well, what amp do I pair it up with? I've got brand X over here, brand Y, brand A, B, C, D, E. You know, it's confusing. So we want to simplify it. So this comes complete in the box. It's a dual 10 or dual 12 uh, slot boarded enclosure with a 600 watt RMS monoblock uh, at two ohms. It's a real 600 watts, not uh, the JBF rating just before fire. It's a real RMS 600 watts. That's good one. Uh, and we also include the base knob with it as well. The, uh, so the subwoofer level control is included in the box. Uh, it is removable. So if guys want to customize it and put it in a blank spot in the dash or in the center console somewhere, it's a quite a, a small base knob. You can you can customize it and fit it into the dash and give that custom custom application look. Uh, is that piece in the middle? I think we talked about this. That glows, right? That's an LED. Yeah, the LED lights up blue. It's actually an acrylic lens on top uh, with some aluminum accents in it. Uh, really, I, I wish I had a hand sample here. Again, these are just shipping now, so we'll have those probably end of July as well. Uh, these are actually on a boat today. These are on, uh, these are the party pack with, the, boat with the Exile amplifiers. Okay. Yep. All right. So these amps look gorgeous. They perform well. It's a it's a manufacturer we've used before. They're super reliable. And again, we're going to give them everything on in the Exile line two year warranty on it. Very nice. And the shift design elements with the orange, it all all makes sense visually. Yeah, it's the, 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 XL, it's the, the XL guys are really design guys, and they, they tie all the accents together. So it's we're giving it everything a family look. And then uh, there's a close, there's a view of the amplifiers. We're going to have four different models, sorry, five different models. We're going to have a 600-watt mono, 1,000 mono, 1,500-watt mono block, all stable at uh, 2 ohms or 1 ohm on the uh, 1,500. Uh, we're going to have a five channel, which is 80 by four and 480 RMS uh, on the oh, fifth channel. 480 at two? At two ohms, yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have a complementing four channel amplifier to go with the 600 watt or the 1000 watt. So uh, 70 by four RMS, uh, 150 by two bridge on the four channel. So a small family of amplifiers per shift. And then uh, for 2022, we're already in design and Elements for a step up series of amplifiers, subwoofers, uh, possibly speakers uh, for 2022. So it's not going to stop here. We're just going to move things forward, and progress. Yeah, all products. Uh, if you guys install it, an authorized dealer for Exile, you get two year warranty on it. If the consumer does it himself or it's a non authorized dealer that happens to, have, you know, customer walks in with his own product, uh, we do a one year, but authorized dealers, two year warranty on all the products. There it is. So the wake tower speakers, surf tower speakers, the amplifiers, marine, uh, cabin speakers, subwoofers, and then you just show, shared with us the two different trim of uh, enclosures loaded, as yep. well as the new um, shift series of amplifiers. And it sounds like you have a long-term commitment with the brand if you're looking already at another step up um Love yeah, phase two of the shift product will be raw drivers. So people want to do their own custom enclosures. Uh or, or, or fabricate something and uh, we'll have the raw drivers by themselves as well. We'll both have a shallow and the traditional shift series that were in the boxes. We'll have those raw so people can build their own enclosures. And then like I said, <coughs> down the road, we're going to do some higher end uh, subwoofer speakers and amplifier offerings. Sweet. It's fun, man. It's fun. It's fun getting involved in, uh, with the XL guys on, the on some of the design elements over that they're, they're good partners. And it sounds like you guys got a lot of input on things too. 
Uh, I, I think just because we've known those guys for 15 years, you know, we've known them for or, or for more than that for 17 years with me. And then uh, obviously with the trends guys, I mean, they, they've known them since day one with Phoenix Gold. So you know, the relationship with uh, the uh, Grant Doust uh, goes back a lot longer than my relationship. So obviously there's some, there's some um, back and forth respect uh, between the two companies for sure. No, yeah, no. And it sounds like, you know, obviously with the experience you guys have at trends, you know, what the, the customer as in the dealers are looking for and what's moving. And uh, I, I really feel that in the design and also the layout of the, the first offering and where it's going. So good job on that. Yep. I think people will be excited about it. We're, we're hoping you'll uh, give it a shot and have a listen to it. But uh, we're, like I said, I wish we had the hand samples here that we're, well, we're, we're all done and finalized. Is, Grant, the good it's news coming. is there's, there's stuff coming on a boat and hopefully with things starting to loosen up a little bit more, we'll be able, you'll be able to actually present it in person, right? Yep. Show people the look and feel and the touchy and all that stuff. So my turn. To surprise you with some stuff. No. So you know, recently on Connected, we've been trying to integrate you know dealers from across the country, give them a chance to spotlight themselves and you know get to for us to know them and and, and get some testimonial on products. So here are the challenges Exiles new in Canada. But, and this is a big but, I found somebody who I happen to have known for a long time, who is a huge Exile audio dealer and loves the brand and has been selling it here for quite <laughs> some time. He's a customer of yours. And I had the chance to sit down with them to get a little bit of their testimony without your influence. How's that? It's nice. Are you worried? No. You're not worried, eh? Are Should I be? No, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to go to tape. You're going to watch this. There's a little bit of testimonial from a guest that I happened to sit down with. So let's go ahead and, you know, one of these cool segments that we've, you know, do, done our best to integrate into our connected sessions is bringing on a dealer. And that's really good for two reasons. Number one, we get a chance to showcase them and let other dealers know about, you know, what other businesses are doing and what they're all about from across the country. And the other, the other great thing is to hear some real testimonial about real life experience with the products that we talk about and the brands that we deal with. So on today's session, I had a great opportunity to reconnect with, the, I mean, a shop from my hometown in Montreal um, that I've literally known for like 20 plus years. And it's amazing to see that they're thriving. They've adapted their business and they're doing super well. And they've got a history with Exile Audio. So I'd like to welcome to CMA Connected, good old friend of mine, Mr. Kim Pan, representing Auto Perfect So Let's bring him on. Hey, Kim, what's going on, man? Hey, how are you guys? How are well, you, Ben? It's awesome. been a while. You know, this is a, a real cool opportunity for me personally, just because I haven't seen you in so long. Um, and our history, like, dude, like I see that logo for APS as like, holy cow. You, <laughs> you guys have been rocking it since like 2000. You know what I mean? It's like, so, so yeah. much history there. So to, to know that you guys are still there and you're doing well and you're thriving, congratulations to you and the team. Thank you very much. We really well, appreciate it. Well, you know, I know who you guys are. Let's take a, a quick minute just to let every all the other dealers know. So Auto Perfect is the name of the shop. Tell us where you are, where you're located, how long you've been around, what you guys are specializing in. Well, yeah, Auto Perfect is the name of the shop. We're in Laval, Quebec, a little, a little, well, little town, a city. A little just town outside. with a million people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just outside of Montreal. Yeah. So uh, we've been around for uh, 33 years, man, wow. actually. People think that we're new because we moved location. We needed a bigger shop. So no, actually, we've been around for 33 years, man. Amazing. I remember yeah. I, I, we were both kids when we met. Literally. Exactly. Yeah, the sticky so days. Sticky, yes, back you. Back yes. Back. Absolutely. Um, what do you guys? I mean, I know back in the day, you know, obviously things have changed over the years. So right now, we walk in auto perfection. What are you guys specializing in? Look, um, we car audio. Obviously, uh, we do. We we're still one of the rare shops in the in the Montreal area that does custom trunk work, fiberglass work. Um, there's not a lot of people doing it. There's not a lot of demands, but we're still one of the few that still does that. Very nice. Now, I also know that, you know, over time, you know, the business and the customers have diversified to go beyond just car. And I think one, one thing that I know you guys are really uh, found a lot of momentum in is Marine. Yes, actually. What happened is we got uh, we got a bolt for the shop and we wanted um, a tower. So we contacted Roswell and we got their towers. So we started be becoming a distributor for Roswell. So we're installing towers, not just the audio for the towers. And then we wanted more sound. And then you know what? Um, Wet Sounds was, uh, was the, the, the brand that people really wanted. That was JL Audio. And then we stumbled onto Exile from Trends. 
and we just fell in love with the product. And ever since, we've been selling their products. Okay, so hold on a second. Let's clarify this a little bit. What year did you first discover Exile? Roughly, I'm not going to hold you. Roughly, um, late late to two thousands. Like okay, so late two thousands. It's, it's been a minute. Okay, so you you yeah. found this brand. Trends was distributing it at the time. You fell in yeah. love with it. You started installing, and then it kind of went away for a bit. So what happened then? Well, look, we, we here in Canada, we're not direct. You, we all know that, right? We mm -hmm. deal with distributors. Mm -hmm. So when Trends stopped the line, uh, you know what? We still had a lot of customers wanting the product. We still had a lot of products that we needed to service. So we we contacted Trends directly, and we exile had directly. Uh, sorry, yeah, Exile directly, exactly, and we we started buying from them directly. Wow. So then all of a sudden, you find out the news that. Exiles kind of making a big push, and they're coming back to Canada again through trends. Yeah, exactly. I was I was ecstatic. You know what? Instead of dealing, well, it wasn't a hassle, but dealing with our distributor is so much easier than mm. going through customs and whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you have you have yeah. a level of service which is right here in Canada, which exactly. we all know is, there's a lot of value to that. So. Um, you know, for, for a lot of dealers watching, they might not have heard of Exile before. And right now, you know, you're appearing on an episode that I'm actually with Grant. And we're talking about Exile, you know, from Trends. Um, give us a little bit about your uh, experience and why you feel that so strongly about the Exile brand. Why it does so well for Auto Perfect Sound? Well, look, um, a lot of people knew Wet Sounds, JL Audio, uh, mm -hmm. at the limit, even Roswell, uh, uh, Roswell and, Marine. And you're talking about some pretty high end stuff. Like, we're exactly. not talking some about run of the mill stuff. stuff. Yeah. Exactly. So, high end stuff means high end pricing as well. Mm -hmm. Right. So, when we discovered uh, Exile, pricing was good. And you know what? They sounded just as good as the Wet Sound stuff. So, really? so look, it was, it was a no brainer. And you know what? They look good. And uh, they had the, the uh, back then, well, still now, uh, the clamping system that you could remove. They came with the bags to cover it, and you could rotate them 360 freely. So you know what? It was just a good concept. Sounds good. Can't beat that. Pricing-wise, can't beat that. So you really fell in love with the value from right yeah. here, the value. You know what you're getting for your money and they're really proud of their clamping system the fact that you can remove the cats how much of that is a selling point when it comes to selling a customer it's a, on that? it's a big selling point honestly the fact that you can remove them and that you can rotate them 360 freely easily actually just it's 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 a no-brainer honestly really so your technicians yeah. must love that part too how are yeah. from an install point of view like the connectors and the quality honestly and super easy just like any other uh, clamping system yeah okay. any any tech could do it all right, and and what about feedback from customers? You've had the brand, you know. Obviously, you have customers coming back too, right? So, what has been the yeah. feedback in in the long exactly. run for this brand? No, exactly. People love them. So, uh, it, once they they go on to Exile, they come back. They come back to the brand. Really? So, yeah, absolutely. Look, we have a customer that changes bolts every two to three years, and whatever whatever OEM sound system he has, it could be Klipsch, uh, JL, or whatever on it. We will we will most definitely pro switch it to exile really yeah so, okay so there's some features that you like you love the value that's yeah. important and you like uh, reliability obviously because you've been selling it for a couple of years it's not new um what about if i'm going to touch on a couple other things what about the amplification side of things and the accessories and the sourcing Did absolutely you that? absolutely so um they have the the, the javelin line right uh, the four amplifiers that they have and you know what Power wise and price wise, they're hard to beat, especially the the XM fifteen dot four. It's a great amp. Really, you, yeah. you seem very passionate about this, Kim. Because, <laughs> and that's important because you know, from a trends perspective, this is a brand for many customers, dealers that they're going to go to that might not have heard of it. So, my last question to you is, what rec Why would you recommend if you have you know two three points? Why would you recommend? You're talking to other dealers here. Look, why would you recommend this brand to other dealers? Simple. Easy to install, they sound great, and they look great, and price-wise, can't beat that. Can't beat that. You get, great, you, can't, you get great value for it. Okay. And you've obviously tested this against other more um, affordable brands as well. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. absolutely. All right. Uh, listen, you've given me everything I wanted to hear. I think dealers got a, got something to think about now based on seeing another dealer talk about this. You know, Exile now back in Canada through Trends Distribution. Um, it's going to be available at Auto Perfect Zone. Kim, uh, you got a website that other dealers can reach out to you? 
Absolutely. They can go on our website. They can reach us through Facebook or Instagram. No, I'll tell you uh, another great place to yeah. connect is on our dealer group on Facebook, which I know you're a part yeah. of. So Yes, very, I am, very, actually. Very, yes. Any shout outs? Any shout outs? I'll give you an opportunity. Who do you want to, to shout out? To all our distributors, man, over the years. And we've been around for so long. And uh, yeah, other, other than that, yeah, everybody in the industry, actually, man. That's Thank amazing. You. I can't wait to be able to come visit you guys. You know, I'm not in Montreal anymore, but I definitely have many planned trips across. But I know we're going to bump into each other at some point. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great, man. Kim, can't thank right. you enough for taking the time to join us. Talk us uh, to, to us a little bit about Exile. I wish all the best to the team at Auto Perfect Zone. Keep on keeping on, man. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. That was pretty cool. Uh, I've known Kim for a long time. He's a straight <laughs> shooter, you know, and yeah. you can see uh, he was pretty passionate about the product. He was very excited to, yeah, I think it was on the service side of things. He was very excited about, the, you know, it's always frustrating if you're direct. And this is why it's so important to, you know, deal with distributors because you guys bear the grunt of that. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, we take, what take away a lot of the pain for sure. There's yeah. a lot of pain. Uh, uh, I don't have to deal with it, thank God. But we have uh, mm -hmm. our, our uh, finance team, our accounting team, our payables team. Uh, it's everything, import, right? Export, Inventory it's planning, not, war not uh, like warranty. It's not <clears> fun. That's shops don't. That's not what they're into. They want to put product in the cars and vehicles and, and get the next one, get next, get the next job. That's what. And if there's a warranty issue, it's taken care of. You know, it's over exactly. the counter exchange or whatever the case is. What, what was your takeaway from that? What did you like that you heard? Well, there's a number of things. I remember, I remember we were talking about their old shop. Uh, I, for I, it was probably back close to 2008, 2009, when he was talking about when he first picked up Exile, when I was, uh, I'd started as the sales manager job and I was out there with our rep at the time, Guillaume, and we went to go to their shop and they had, a, it was tucked at the back. It wasn't on the main street. It was, it was on a main street, but it was tucked at the back behind a house. You had to know and it was they had a shop there. Mm -hmm. And then they had that separate garage uh, that they had to do their installs. And uh, I just remember the first time I went there, I, I don't know if it was the, sh the Roswell boat he had in there, but he did have a boat in the back of the shop. And I was looking at it, I'm going, you should probably check out this Exile gear because <laughs> <laughs> we just got it and we're pretty excited about it. And, you know, it was the Marine stuff back then. So, yeah. So Kim and Gaetan uh, have you know, been around for a long, long time. Uh, Kim still looks like a baby. I mean, that's, a, that's the first thing we, I did. Kevin, total baby make face. The first thing we said, man, I go, you and I look still good, man. He's like, yeah. Well, <laughs> Kim looks good. You're you're aging. Really? really? <laughs> now you look good, man. You look good. <laughs> no, like so he wasn't kidding. When he was making reference to stuff, he was making reference to like early 90s stuff. Like that's how yeah. long, you know. Still yeah, no, I, I remember when they were on their, their old location. The new place is awesome. Mm, easy to, very easy to find the new shop. Easy to mm -hmm. find the new shop, man. Um, yeah, some takeaways I got from that. Some things I forgot to talk about was how easy the cans are to install. The tower speakers are like an installer's godsend. I mean, uh, not everyone's everyone's kind of doing it now, but back then, you know, when eight, 2008, 2009, you had to be a bodybuilder to install wakeboard tower speakers because you're holding this, you know, in one hand while trying to do the clamp with two threaded bolts on the other side, right? It was crazy. So when their clamping systems and and the guys from Wet Sounds clamping systems came out, where you could mount the clamp first, right, and then put the speaker on afterwards, it was like the installers were like, "Thank you, finally." Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, that was uh, one of the takeaways. The other one was uh, you know that that people that have uh, boats usually have friends that have boats, and they hang out, and it's like the old days of car audio. You know, the guy had a, you had your buddy had a single ten, well, you went out and got a single twelve, and then he went out and got two tens so then you went out and got two twelves uh the marine market's kind of like that too you know you got a guy with one set of towers you got a guy with two sets and then we've got some crazy pictures of guys with like eight ten sets of tower speakers on their boat i mean obscene power to them, power to them. yeah god bless people with money yeah we like we kind of like that yeah uh, mm. and it, it's it is true though like the, the the word of mouth marketing especially in today's market with social media i mean if you got a guy that likes your product um They'll spit it on Facebook or Instagram mm -hmm. or TikTok, yeah. everything, and it's it's great. So that's a, that's the one thing I love about Marino Audio is it, it's a small system's five thousand dollars. You know, like for yeah, a shop, entry. Entry. for a shop that ha isn't into Marine or or is, is dabbling in Marine. Brand, a lot yeah. of it is bundled into the financing, man, especially on new boat. Well, I mean, the new, the new boats are coming with some pretty nice systems in them. But like uh, Kim was saying, you know, a lot of the times it's it's not 
the product's flagship it's in right. there what you know if it's a yeah. or some companies are not really in the marine market and they're, they're mm. still selling uh, gear for you know boat manufacturers sure. my this takeaway though my takeaway from what kim said though value yeah you know um and you know maybe that's not something you want to put on the front of the box but for a dealer you know that's another dealer saying hey this stuff it sounds great it installs great you can make money with it and you know you're not the customer's not going to be like oh my god how much are these things you know what i mean like i think that there's a lot to be said of having that that money item in your arsenal i think i think that's a good component of it certainly the value is there i mean i think a lot of all a lot of our marine brands give you good value for what you actually hear i mean when you, when you actually hear this product versus a competitor's product you know why it's more money mm -hmm. You know, this is not a pair of six and a half inch coaxes and a can and it's twelve hundred bucks. Right, this is right, a right. purpose nine inch compression horn driver, you know, swivel clamps, really properly designed uh cans, the whole works made for marine, you know, yeah. projecting a hundred feet back. So yeah, I mean the value the value is definitely there with on the both on the uh, <laughs> dealer side and the on the and the customer side. And the customer's Perfect. getting great value, the dealer's getting good value and, and everyone's happy at the end of the day. So if you're tuning in or you're watching this on demand, um, there's the digits down below. Give Grant and his team at Trends Electronics a call if Exile Audio is something that tickles your fancy, something you might want to add to your marine offering, or maybe something you want to add to your car audio offering based on all the cool products we covered that are on the boat and uh, coming in July. So uh, last word, Grant. Uh, stand by for some promo stuff on the new car audio when it comes out. So when I once I know mm -hmm. it's close to being here, there'll definitely be a launch program for dealers uh, to get in demo discounts, uh, own personal car demo discounts, that kind of stuff. So we're going to get aggressive when it comes out, make sure that people get the word out. Uh, again, you'll see a lot of value in the XL car audio product, just like you see in the... Um, the marine products, you're going to have great value. This is you're going to make, you know, a lot of customers are very happy with this product for not not a crazy amount of money. Awesome. Grant, always a blaster. Hey, go Habs, go. And go Habs, go. Tonight we're going to see who makes it to the final, who we're up okay. against. But any big plans for the weekend before I let you go since it is Friday? It's going to be hot as you know what in Vancouver. We're getting upwards of the high 30s, and then the Oof. interior is going up to like 41, 42. Oof. It's going to be hot, so I'm going to get the air conditioning out and then maybe some baby oil and work on this tan. Oh, God, I want to come, I want you to come back like a cinnamon bun so badly. Uh, I hope you get it done. Well, we're on in like another seven days, so I, if, I, if you see this crispy lobster guy next yeah. week, <laughs> too much time in the sun. Uh, you know what? Let's plug that real quick. We are back. Um, shoot, I wish I, I should have had that calendar. But anyways, make sure July you do it. July 7th. There it is. Um, July 7th, Moscone Moscone. DSP. And the uh, this is Moscone DSP. It'll be a beginner's beginner's course, part one, because uh, mm -hmm. we want to uh, Nick Wingate. take a, Nick Wingate, the man, mm -hmm. the myth, the legend, forgotten more than we know. <laughs> um, uh, I'm excited about these uh, these two. Uh, one, you know, I, I feel myself. I've, uh, I'm at one. I'm really excited about two. But you know, let's 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 walk before we run. We're gonna do one and learn everything we can. Yeah, we want to take the fear out of DSP. There's, there's, there's nothing to be scared of. You're not going to pop awesome. airbags and kill people or whatever. It's DSP, man. It's, it's just making your sound and learn, that learn how to use it. That's it. Grant, okay. have a good weekend. Always sir. a pleasure, man. Good luck, with, uh, good luck with the playoffs. I'll be cheering for the no, Habs. No, I'm, I'm sure we'll be talking before then. All right. All right. Take care. Sure, brother. Bye. There you have it, guys. Trends Electronics. My man, Grant McFadder, talking all about Exile Audio. Uh, big announcement this year, back in Canada through Trends, um, known for its marine, and now it getting into some car audio, stuff's on the boat, guys, going to be some programs coming your way, courtesy of Trends, so stay, pay attention to that, stay tuned, all right, guys, I wish you guys a great weekend, Whew, we'll see who we're going to be playing, and uh, next week's going to be super interesting, uh, for those of you who are at Knowledge Fest, you might be watching this, have fun at Knowledge Fest, uh, good to see that event back in person in Orlando. So shout out. We are broadcasting um, on Sunday with a special CMA Live. Uh, talk to a couple of the vendors uh, live from the Knowledge Fest floor and uh, get their feedback and see how it's like to be back in person. Hey, thanks for tuning in to another lunchtime learning session here on CMA Connected presented by Sirius XM. I am your host, Ben. We're wishing you a great weekend, guys. Till next time, we connect. Mm -hmm.